for the King, Jerry Lawler. Jerry has uh, lost the unified world title. Still the King, but no longer the champion. As it comes out here, we want to maybe get him to say a few words about the situation. Bring us up to date, and we'll take a look at some of the action that's led up to all of this. King, I, as I said, I know this is not, these are not happy times for you without no, that belt. No, they're not. They're not, Dave. Uh, but what I, you know, I think I've got this all figured out, and what... If we could do this today, I know, I know we have a little film recap. I'd like for, to, to show everybody exactly how uh, I lost the Unified World Heavyweight Championship and then show them once again uh, how I was just about to regain it and what happened again. And then I want to ask a, a very special guest to come out here and join us. But first, if we could, if we could watch this little recap. Would that be right? Sure. Oh, take her coming out behind Lawler. Just level Lawler. <laughs> Nate the Rat just jabbed him in the throat with that cane. As Dutch Mantel in here, after Nate the Rat lands the cane across the back of the soul taker. As everyone's outside the ring now, all the lumberjacks tangling up outside the ring. Dutch Mantel in here for a little payback as Lawler holds the soul taker up. The soul taker ducked and missed. Dutch Mantel just nailed Lawler with the cane. And the Soul Taker just clotheslined Dutch Mantel as the Soul Taker with a pin cover. Two, three, that's it. Frank Morrell. Well, that's how the belt was lost. This is the rematch now. Delivering those big knees into the midsection. Just clubs Lawler right across the back of the head. The Soul Taker picking Lawler up. Just tearing him around the ring and just drives him right down into the canvas. Soul Taker sending Lawler into the turnbuckle. Coming in after him, but Lawler catches him with a flex and puts him down on the canvas. Lawler looking good. Going to work on the Soul Taker over there in the corner. Frank Morrell trying to tell him to get those fists open. Morrell again wanting Lawler about it. Lawler just stuck out of the way, leveled Frank Morrell. Morrell set that floor on the outside of the ring as Lawler just rolled the soul taker up. His shoulders are pinned. The thing that would lock in here is Lawler picks him up, gives him a big uppercut. Just nailed him right in that nose there. The soul taker up and misses with a roundhouse right as Lawler takes the soul taker down for a pin cover. His shoulders are pinned. The Dirty White Boy coming in here from the outside. Working over Lawler now. As Lawler just had the soul taker pin. Had the match won. And in comes the Dirty White Boy. As now the both of them working on Lawler. Dutch Mantel coming in here and leveling Nathaniel Whitlock. Goes in there with the cane. And now Dutch Mantel in there. Going to work on the dirty white boy. And the soul takes a Mantel. Just sent the white boy up and over the top rope. As Lawler in there with a pin cover again on the soul taker. Frank Morrell getting up at ringside. The bell has just been rung. Frank Morrell has just awarded the match to the Soul Taker because he just saw Dutch Mantel in the ring and said that's going to be outside interference and has called for the bell and disqualified the King. The Soul Taker walking out of here again with the Unified World Heavyweight title. And Frank Morrell got back up in the ring and when he saw the action Dutch Mantel was standing there with a cane in his hand as the king had the soul taker pin now I hope that everybody paid very close attention to that and one person that I know is watching this on a monitor in the back and I would like for him to come out here once again I asked him to come out last week if I could get uh, 
Dutch Mantel to just maybe make an appearance out here for just one second. As I said, Dave, I think I've got this all figured out. I think I realize exactly what is going on now and maybe a way to remedy this situation. Dutch, could you come on out here for just a second? Oh, yeah. Well, Let's hear it for Dutch. Dutch can speak for himself, but, well, I'll, I'll let him do that. Dutch Mantel. All right, I'm out here. All right, you're I'm out, out here. I'm out here. Now, let me, let me ask you something, Dutch. Wait a minute. Let me, let me tell you one thing. Tell me to tell your business. No, no, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Before you start that, that I, this is what I was going to say. Don't take my lines, Dutch, because you see, I was going to ask you, do you not remember last week? Did anybody happen to see the TV show last week? Did I not stay? I, I, I could have sworn I was standing about right here, and you were standing about right there, and Bill you Dundee was standing place? about right there. No, you're fine. I just want to refresh your memory, Dutch. Do you remember t me telling you or asking you to stay out of my matches, stay out of my business. Did I say that or yeah, not? You said was it. I imagining that? No, you wasn't imagining. You told me, and I remember it. And yet, it seems I just watched on a monitor not more than 20 or 30 seconds ago uh, me in a match with the Soul Taker, with the World Heavyweight Championship at stake. And I look up, I've got the man pinned, I look up and who do I see standing in the ring and who does the referee see standing in the ring and naturally he disqualifies me. Who do you see standing there, Dutch? Did you call me out here to try to embarrass me or something? No, I'm not trying to... what you call me out I here I called for? you out here to ask you a simple question. Who did he see standing there? He saw me standing there. And there's a reason why I was standing there. Well, you know you, what? That's that boy why I called you out here. I want to hear the kick reason. your brains out. They were kicking your brains out, Lord, and I come out because that uh, white boy just tore me up with that cat of nine tails. And I wasn't in no mood to play with a white boy. I wasn't. Did, did the I, white did boy I brought me in you, there. Did I ask you? Did I make it clear? Did I, I mean, could you not read my lips? Did I ask you to stay out of my match? Did I say, I don't care if I'm covered with blood from head to toe. I don't care what they're doing to me. Please stay out of my match. I know I said that, Dutch, but yet I look up and who do I see standing there? Dutch Mantel. Now, as I said, Dutch, no, I didn't call you out here to embarrass you. I called you out here because I think I figured this out. You know, I watched that tape of you. I watched a tape of you and the dirty white boy wrestling a while ago, and you're trying to win the CWA Heavyweight Championship, right? right? And I saw you out there. You're pulling your straps down, and you're doing this. Now, where'd you get that move from, Dutch? Huh? Oh, no, no, okay. We know where you got it. Got it. Yeah, okay. You're pulling your strap down, and you're trying to win the CWA Championship. Now, that's fine and good, but I know why you're trying to do that, Dutch. Because you know that the CWA heavyweight champion is the number one contender for that world title. You know that, don't well, you? Since you brought it up, yes, you are correct. Okay. You should be a detective, Lawler. Yeah, I you know. would solve every okay. murder they ever had. Calm you can figure Dutch. it all out. Calm down. Don't get excited. Let me just explain something to you. I know that what you're thinking in your mind was, you're thinking, as long as Jerry Lawler has that world heavyweight championship, you're probably not going to get a shot at it. Because you're thinking the promoters don't like the book a guy that the fans like against another guy that the fans like. That's what you're thinking, right? So what you figured out, you'll go in there and you'll get me in a match with the Soul Taker and you'll cause me to lose that title. You'll get the soul to belt, belt on the Soul Taker and you'll get to wrestle him. You don't think you're going to get a shot at when I got the belt. And so then you get that done, you let the Soul Taker win the belt, and then I get a rematch and you say, oh my gosh, Lawler's fixing to win that belt back. Now, what can I do? You sit back in the back. You know, I told you. You think I got this all planned out? Yeah. You think I've sat back in a little cubicle back in the dressing room and figured it all out, right? You, I that, know. That's what you're trying. That's I, what you're leading up to. I know that's a lot to expect out of a guy like you, Dutch, but yes, that is exactly you know what, what I think you got. Gonna... I told you. Know what you you're gonna do? You're I gonna... told you, Dutch, I had a big fat fireball with the Soul Taker's name on it. You didn't even let me get a chance to use it. You wanted to make sure I got disqualified before I could do the Soul Taker in. And you did it. You got the you job done. You know what done. you'd like to do right now? What? You'd like to slap me, wouldn't you? <laughs> you'd like to haul off and just slap me, wouldn't you? No, I wouldn't like to yeah, slap you, would. you, Dutch. You know no. what I'd like to do? What? I'd like to slap you because that, your attitude, I'm getting about sick and tired of your attitude, Lawler. <laughs> now, you, I said it last week, you rode that crest for a long time. Now, if you think I got any designs on anything else other than my own personal business, then you're wrong. And you better be backing up and you better be watching that tongue in that mouth and you better be keeping a civil tongue in your head. Now, I'm not going to tell you again. Well, <laughs> look, Dutch, let me just say this. A guy right here, huh? First of all, Dutch, a guy like you don't tell me anything. You might ask me something, but you can't tell me anything. 
because as the old saying goes, I've forgotten more about wrestling than you'll ever know. I am the world heavyweight and have been the world heavyweight champion and still should be if it wasn't for you. You have never been a world heavyweight champion. You're not even a CWA heavyweight champion. And that's what's eating at you, Dutch. Why don't you admit it? These people can understand that. Okay. Everybody wants to strive to be the best. Everybody wants to climb the mountain. Everybody wants to be on top. I'm sure you do, too. Why don't you just admit it? Okay. You're just going about it the wrong way. That's okay, all. I'm going to tell you one thing right now. You want me to sell your business, that's correct? exactly what I From want. From now on out, if you get your brains kicked out that ring, Lawler, don't look for me to come in and help you. Don't look for nobody else because I think... You've made yourself perfectly clear. You don't want no help, so I won't give you any. And by the same token, I doubt if you're going to help me anyway. But in sum, if you had some compassion about you at all, if I'm down, I don't want you coming and helping me. And as far as I'm concerned, as far as I'm concerned, conversation ended. Here. <laughs> conversation ended. Conversation ended. You see, Dave, some people you just have to deal with a little bit differently. Some people, you just have to drive that point home a little bit harder than others. Dutch is that way. It's no fault against Dutch that he is just a little bit thick-headed. He's just a little bit stubborn. I just had to finally make my point clear, and I think from now on, Dutch Mantell will stay out of my business. That's all I'm asking. All I want is for people to leave me alone, let me do what I do best, and that's win titles and beat people. And without any outside interference, I'll beat the soul taker, I'll get the World Heavyweight Championship belt back, and then Dutch, I'll give you a shot at it. Don't worry about it, brother. It can all be worked out, okay, Dave? That's simple as that. Dave.